What's up, Geminis? What's up, my loves? Welcome back. Welcome back, my loves. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of February. February, okay, Lord, I can't get my words out right, Geminis. Come on in, my loves. How are you? Again, I hope all is well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're loving on yourself. I hope you're treating yourself, okay? Don't forget about self, okay? Self-aware, self-caring. Don't forget about yourself, okay? Treat yourself rather if it's small or big, my loves, okay? All right, so let's see what messages we have for you for the month of February, okay? For my lovely Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what the person that is telepathically speaking to you in the cosmos here. What are your thoughts, Geminis, or where are their thoughts towards you, Geminis, okay? The song I got for you, however, was No Guidance, No Guidance, excuse me, Lord, my words okay so some of you all this person their words may get tongue-tied or tongue-twisted when they're talking to you okay yeah and it's crazy because we have the knight of cups wanting to come out here okay water energy scorpio cancer or pisces okay they could have in their charts but this person that you are telepathically communicating with Meaning this person could be distanced from you, Gemini's, okay? Um, but the song, again, No Guidance. Oh, my goodness. No Guidance. <sighs> Hold on, Spirit. It was by the artist for Chris Brown. This person definitely feels like you do have it. You have it all together, Gemini. And that turns them on, okay? They feel like you have everything all in a bag of chips, Okay, Gemini. Okay, so they really feel like you fulfill everything that they are looking for or desiring. Okay, hold on, cause my moon is in Gemini. Okay, remember your moon placements is your emotions and how you feel. Okay, so I do recommend you check out not only your sun sign. You know that's your sun sign of who you are at the soul of you, but your moon sign is where your thoughts, emotions are at. Okay. So, look, I need to tune in myself, Gemini's, okay? All right, but this person or this individual that you are communicating with telepathically, who are you thinking about here? Um, again, could be a water sign, okay? Let's see. Let's see what is it that they're wanting to come and communicate with you with offering this cup, okay? Could we want to offer you a cup and apology? You two could have had some... Um, misunderstandings or you know may have been communicating with each other on and off i'm hearing as well so this person may want to come back and just you know make amends for that it could be juggling here too with the two of pinnacles okay spirit what other messages we have this could be an earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo okay and then we have the magician here. So we have the moon here for your present energy for the month of February. And then we have the magician here, Gemini's, for your future, near future energy manifesting here, okay? So let's see here. Why are we juggling here in the past? Why are we juggling here in your past energy here? Some of y'all could have been juggling something that was, you know, making sure that it works out within your household, your finances, what's going to better work for, you know, funding, what needs to be funded and taken care of, right? Um, just trying to balance everything out here. I feel most of you all here in the past, just recently, last year, 2020, with everything going on, right? And so then we have the moon card here. So let's get some clarification, Gemini. Let's get some clarification, Jimmy. Twinkies, let's see what we got. What are you two communicating with? With this moon card here, some of you all could be holding back. Holding back information. We know the moon card is all about secrets. Holding your feelings back towards each other or, you know, secretly. Secretly, okay. Spirit says secretly holding feelings 
back towards each other, Gemini. Okay, or this person, vice versa, right? So let's see, Spirit. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. For Gemini, the Two of Pentacles, Spirit. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Fire energy here, Sagittarius. Something definitely going to change for the better, I'm hearing, for the good. Whatever this is that you're feeling like, Gemini, that here recently in the past, you've been, um, you know, juggling to see what's going to be more grounded of a, I'm hearing, a decision for you. So just trying to figure out what's going to be the best alternative, the best logic response, I'm hearing as well. Okay. And whatever it is, Okay, you won't be in the energy of the two of pentacles or having to juggle in between or be indecisive on what is going to, you know, work in regards to the situation because it's definitely something the divine here when we have the will of fortune come out. It's definitely the divine going to step in. It's going to be able to, you know, come about a change, however, right? Work out in your favor. Some of y'all, if it is in regards to, you know, being indecisive or juggling rather how you want your finances to go in regards to this individual that you are um, telepathic communicating with and how you are going about with manifesting, right? This is a relationship, a career, a business, whatever this is that you're headed towards in the future here of February wanting to. Uh, manifest. I feel like some of you all are keeping it to yourself, okay, with the moon part here as well for who that's resonating for. Clarify the moon for Geminis, please. The moon card. What is the moon card? Here we have the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy come out here, more water energy. Okay, so this person from your past, okay, that you or some of you all are telepathic speaking with, okay, making a decision in regards to, um, right? Whatever this is that you're manifesting again, right? This is a relationship, a career, a business, um, something that once here in the past with the Six of Cups, it was something that you build with this individual, with this person from your past, whether it's a career or a um, a brand, a logo, a business that you built and started here from your past, right? Hmm. Let's get more. Clarify. Give me more spirit. Clarify the uh, two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Hmm. So we have, let me just scoot them over so you can see. Following the wheel of fortune, we have the three of pentacles, earth energy. Okay, for me, Virgo, Capricorn, of course, and Taurus. Then we have Aquarius energy, the star. And then we have, look at there, the four of wands. So again, I felt that. I just wanted to make sure to get more clarifications. But in regards to some of you all, again, this person or this individual from your past that you're um, being indecisive about or, you know, juggling in between. Or some of y'all could be feeling torn in between the two or torn between two individuals or torn in between and wanting to um again reconcile with this person or you know choosing you and what it is that you want to manifest here in the um near future right and for some of you all this could be within a job or someone that you work with Someone that you know, you definitely feel that there's wishful fulfillment. Someone that, you know, um, that you feel like can help you in the energies of you both into 
um, go through this process of going through the healing process and, you know, being able to be in alignment with each other here with the 1111, okay? Coming into union with each other, coming into partnership with each other. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here to say that this is for, as Spirit said at the beginning, for the better, for the better good with the Wheel of Fortune here, right? So some of you all in the past will have out of concerns, right, to lead you here into being this situation, I feel like, Gemini's. But, you know, when the Wheel of Fortune steps in, letting you know that you will have opportunities or individuals to be able to collaborate with, to be able to work with. Again, could be an earth sign or this person's individual could be an earth sign, okay? Um, someone that um, was your hopeful wish, wishful fulfillment and that could fulfill you and help you on this lifetime now, right? And you two can come into union with each other, Gemini. Ooh, I like it. So let's get more clarification with the six of here, what's going on here with the secrets and stuff here? And then what's going on? All right, Spirit, what are these two communicating here? What are they telepathically in regards to this union or this collaboration between the two? Spirit, mm, the high priestess, let's get some more here. Using your intuition in regards to this person from the past. Whoa. And look how this wanted to jump out again. And we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician again. Double confirmation for me. Definitely wanting to use your intuition because, again, the information that was hidden here or, you know, keeping a secret here from this person from your past or this person that wants to, you know, you two could both have kids, okay? But having the Ace of Pentacles here wanting to offer you this foundation, right? to come into union with each other, to build with each other, to start a foundation with the four of wands here. We know fours is all about building, right? And follow your intuition about this person, this individual, because there is someone that wants to manifest this new beginning with all the yellow here, right? They're wanting to manifest this, and I feel like they are currently, and you too, however, are keeping this a secret, right? Not sharing this with too many in people or individuals, right? So let's see, clarify the magician spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The magician. The Nine of Pentacles, more earth energy, okay? So definitely, um, some of you all single here. Okay, some of y'all in the near future, some of y'all coming into February will be single, okay? And some of you all, this person knowing that you are single, right? And are trying to manifest you as well, I'm hearing. We're definitely, again, having the manifestation, the magician, excuse me, card come out twice. Okay, so definitely you are, I feel like, trying to do the same process in the same place, in the same life path, or in the same path, or, you know, wanting to go towards the direction of, you know, yes, I have evolved now, right? I'm feeling energy, type of energy, Gemini, this individual, that um, you're going to be getting, I'm sure, this clarity about, or some of you have already gotten this clarity with the Wheel of Fortune here in regards to this person, this individual, um, here from your past as well. Um, and <clears throat> they're wanting to manifest this beginning with you. They're wanting to manifest this relationship. They're wanting to, if this is someone that you went down this road with before, they're wanting to come back and try this again, right? With this past energy here, and they may, again, where those secrets come into play, where they haven't been keeping that, where they've been keeping that to themselves, excuse me. Thank you, spirit, okay? And manifesting, you know, of them being single here. Okay, we'll fuck it up then. All right, Gemini's. All right, my love. So let's get one more spread. That's just one spread that I wanted to get here. Let's see what other energies, what other messages we can get for the month of February here for you, my loves.
the Gemini is thinking of or thinking of them, what messages or they dip to or telepathically speaking. I can't, I don't have my words to, together today for these readings. I don't know what it is. Gemini's. I be damned. Gemini's third time is a charm. If you two are not manifesting each other, look at this. This is a whole new deck, Gemini. A whole new deck I've used. This is the third deck I have chosen, okay? Wow, this is amazing, okay? This is definitely a confirmation for me when things come in threes, okay, honey? This is the third deck came out of the magician straight out the gate okay gemini so you are definitely manifesting right um you know very focused on what it is that you want to manifest here for the new year to come for the new cycle and so as above and so below and also this person this individual is wanting to manifest you so i feel like once you two get around each other you two are gonna know yeah i manifest you or yeah you manifest me or you two are gonna know a lot about each other or gonna be confirmed a lot like yeah yeah i knew that already i knew that already or you know it's kind of gonna it's gonna be cute or whatever but it's just funny how the magician has came out three times so that's definitely you two manifesting by default and not even realizing it of how you do two energies or corresponding here to each other. I like it. I like it, Gemini's. I like it. All right, so let's see what else, Spirit. What are these two communicating? The Nine of Pentacles come out again. Nine of this, aka Nine of Pentacles. So definitely you um, two are single, okay? Or Gemini, you are single or vice versa. This person is single. It's definitely why there's a lot of manifestation going on here. And they're using all their tools here on the table to manifest. Okay. I like it, Gemini. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you two are definitely secretly manifesting is what I'm going to call this reading here. Secretly manifesting each other. Right, Gemini. Yes, I can dig it. Keep everybody at your business. Everybody don't have to know what you're doing. It ain't for everybody to know. Okay, that's where it starts. Mm, 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 mm. Look it up, Gemini. All right, Spirit. One more card here. We work with threes around this bitch. Ooh, the Eight of Wands. Yes, fire energy here, Sagittarius. Aries here definitely going to begin some communication from this person that you're telepathically speaking here with right that's wanting to um be like hey Gemini's uh I don't know about you but I'm over here manifesting you do you feel it do you feel me knocking well let me in let me in Gemini's is what they saying let me in okay let them in Gemini's don't be scared don't be scared Mm -mm, don't be scared, Gemini. Okay, let's see. What are we manifesting here? Clarify the magician spirit. Clarify the magician. What are we manifesting here? Ooh, the six of wands, more fire energy, and the judgment. Yes, definitely divine is stepping in. I feel like a lot of you all, your spirit guides is around, assisting you as above, so below. Again, helping you with this manifestation. It's definitely going to bring you to some passion, some victory, okay? I like it. Yeah, it's going to be balanced between you two, okay? And that's what the divine is stepping in and giving you that thumbs up for, okay? All right? Because a lot of you are single, taking care of yourself, nourishing yourself all right clarify the nine of pentacles for gemini sun moon rising and venus oh i'm sorry i had my card everything is going to be fine aka the ten of swords yes definitely aware of the portrayed definitely aware of energies that have stabbed you in the back gemini's right because you wouldn't come out in this energy, 
right? You wouldn't be able to grow and manifest if it had not been for these type of relationship situations with these individuals, family, friends, loved ones, right? And Spirit is saying, now the victory is yours. Now you receive. Now it's your turn. Now it's your time. The divine is stepping in and saying with the judgment card here. What is it going to be, Gemini's? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Ooh, slow down, Spirit. The Ace of Swords. Getting this clarity and this truth. So whatever you get communicated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me slow down. Whatever this clarification or this information you receive, Gemini, it's going to definitely bring some peace, some understanding. Um, you know, it's going to feel relieving. I'm hearing it's going to feel like a relief, okay, with seeing the um, Ten of Swords come out here, right? Just from mental issues, mental thoughts in regards to energies being manipulative here, right, with the um, Ten of Swords here. So now receiving this clarity or this truth for some of you all from this fire sign again here. Um, or again, just information um, that you receive, whether this through communication, message, email, hear a download, or epiphany, whatever it is, and how you receive this clarification with this assistance from the divine here, from your spirit guides, is going to be able to allow you to not only continue to nourish yourself and be in the nine of cups excuse me the nine of cups so yes a lot of you are enjoying yourself celebrating right giving gratitude um being thankful for this journey here and for the past and what you had to go through to get you where you're at right i like it I keep hearing the song um, as I stated, you got it, girl, you got it. So this person feels like, you know, yes, this person got it. Or yes, Gemini has it all together. Of course, seeing you here and you're again, I keep wanting to pick this card up. You're not a pinnacle. They see that you got it, girl, you got it. Okay, Gemini. So this person definitely sees the ability, the capabilities I'm hearing that you have to establish this relationship with this individual that you're telepathically speaking with. Okay, um, and that information, that clarity you may get is them saying, Gemini, you got it, girl, you got it. Look, baby, you're not working. No, not a five, you're not working. What? Okay, I don't know all the words. Excuse me, Gemini, I don't know all the words. Okay. All right, my love. So again, if that reading resonates, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if it's resonating with your spirit. Ooh, that's a clarification for somebody. My notification went off on my phone. Okay, but um, definitely, ooh. All right, two times, double confirmation there, okay? All right. I know a little lovely, okay. Tell me that don't mean a thing. Okay, now, hold on now. Drake done came through Gemini's, okay? So let's get an oracle card, my loves, to finish up your reading. Okay, we're going to get a animal spirit oracle card here to finish up your reading for the month of February. Just to see who you will be communicating with telepathically for the month of February. Where your mind is going to be, where your thoughts and looking good so far. Okay, so the card we had come out, my loves, is a WAP spirit. Okay, so meaning sometimes life stings. I know that's right, okay? So this card breaks down to a 10, okay? So definitely a cycle, again, that's going to be completed here for you or is in the works of being completed, okay? Because there's a new beginning. There is a new beginning, and yes, sometimes life does sting. Yes, sometimes people, individuals, loved ones, um, people that you become attached to or, um, you know, gave your time and energy and space with, you know, as you had the Ten of Swords come out, Gemini, people and individuals that you um, thought that, you know, had your back, that supported you, 
then turn around and stab you in the back, right? And you felt like that sting. But everything is in set in divine's order to teach us these lessons and to teach us not to go about these type of individuals when we move forward in life if we're wanting to go down this certain path that we are destined to go down in order to not be taken advantage of or not being manipulated or not being portrayed up another confirmation okay recognize the situations and when things are shown to you for what they are right don't try to make them more than what they are people are always going to show themselves in whatever situation that may be and you take it for what it is you don't have to agree to it okay um but you can respect it and be thankful for it and now know what it is that you want and what you deserve right and be accepting of that right because you can choose how you want to live your life and how you want to manifest again your university right my loves so i'm gonna leave that there again i hope the reading resonated my loves remember gemini's as i always say your health is your wealth and i will see you all soon i love you gemini's mwah, mwah, mwah.